Hey traders, welcome to a new educational Wednesday video. Uh, today I want to touch on a topic that I had actually, I have a video on this uh, a while back on my channel uh, last year when I was uploading a lot of basic trading concepts and this is the risk reward ratio tool. It's a very uh, simple concept. All the trading platforms have a tool that you can use in order to measure it. Uh, this is in trading view so you're probably very familiar with this kinds of tools this is basically a risk reward ratio tool to measure long positions and this is a risk reward ratio tool to measure uh, short positions so I'm going to talk about how we can use this in order to um, make better trading decisions in order to analyze our risk control and also to calculate how we can generate a winning strategy by figuring out um, you know depending on our style of trading uh, realistically what kind of um, risk versus rewards we need to look for in trades and our win rates in order to be able to be profitable in the long term okay if you haven't done so make sure to subscribe hit the thumbs up all that good stuff to help the channel keep growing your support is what keeps all these videos coming check out my website as well for more information on all my um, content and educational material okay so let's start off very quickly just defining what is the risk reward ratio so normally you'll see this referred a lot of things people call it R, R and R some people which is basically risk and reward okay and a lot of people will say for example like if someone has a winning trade they might say oh I have a I had a three to one or a four to one was that what that means is they won four times as much as the amount that they were risking so how do we see this visually well imagine you got a market that's trending and someone wants to get long so let's say someone was looking at this uh, pullback here and they got long right around here on the pullback and let's say they had their stop loss right below the swing low and then let's say they took profits right around this level here at the top let's say there was a previous swing high right around here so they closed their position right here so if i go into trading view and i click on this you can see it gives me some information you can change if you double click on this you can change how you want it displayed you can put compact stat modes or you can put full stat modes or always show stats so what that tells us is if you see on this trade he had his he or she had his entry here so let's say if they were risking ten dollars and it's a two to one that means that for every ten they were risking the potential payout in this was twenty dollars so you know this is a okay ratio you know it's not a great risk reward ratio but on the long term if you have an enough good enough risk uh, win percentage this is definitely going to allow you to have a winning trading strategy now another way to measure this is you can do and this is a little tip that i have for all of you if you take your fibonacci tool you can actually generate a r and r a risk reward tool with it simply with settings like this so let me just move this out of the way so i just have more room here 
okay just like that so with this tool as you can see this is a risk reward ratio tool but I have programmed it so that I can just put my entry right here and then this will be my stop loss here so basically losing one X and then over here this is my reward so this is 1x 2x 3x 4x 5x etc so if I take a trade and let's say I enter here I put my stop loss right here and then I take profits right here then this will be a 4r trade meaning that for every one that I was risking of risk I could potentially make four in winnings okay and the way that you customize this um, Fibonacci tool is very easy what I do here on trading view is that I have a template for it if I go into the settings you can see all I did was I activate the 0 1 minus 1 two three four five and again you know you can use as many numbers as you want probably five is more than what most people would normally uh, use unless they're just doing very long swing trades etc that could be a lot more multiples of that and just with this ones then like I said if you see a chart so for example here let me take this off Let's take this off if I go into a chart here for example and I'm just trying to calculate and I go okay I want to calculate um, you know if I want to try to go short here once we broke below this low I say okay I want to go short here then I want to calculate and say okay where would I have my stop loss and what potentially could be my reward so then I would just take my Fibonacci let's say I would enter here so I just move the zero to my entry and then let's say my stop loss would have been just beyond this swing highs and then this tool basically just projects for me stop loss here that would be minus one and then let's say if I took profits right around this area down here you would see that would be about a 4x take profits here take profit okay so then again this would be a four to one trade because I am making four times the rewards of each one that I am risking okay so that is in a nutshell the basics of the risk reward tool now why is this an important thing to track and for this I'm gonna bring in this two uh, this two graphs that I got that I found on the internet and this is what you should use in order to analyze your trading strategies so look at this panel right here first let's look at the left side over here we have risk reward low that will be if you take trades where you're not really getting a lot of uh, reward for the risk you're taking so maybe you're taking a one-to-one -one. that will be a pretty low um, R&R trade unless you have a very good win percentage I would not recommend going for this ones and even worse you never want to have an R&R of less than one because this is literally means you are risking more money than what you could potentially win this is a terrible um, proportion as far as your uh, trading strategy and you should never take any trades that are less than a one-to-one -one, I would say and we're gonna go over some chart examples and show you how when people when they start chasing price 
and they just mark it by anywhere without a clear trading plan what they're essentially doing is they're taking on really bad risk reward ratios and that's really going to affect them negatively okay then over here we have high risk reward ratio so again maybe you're taking a three to one four to one etc and then over here you have your win loss percentage so if you have a low winning uh, your win percentage i mean if you have a low win percentage and your risk reward is low you are not going to make it and you can see this over here in this model if you have uh, in general on average let's say if you take trades where most of the time you're taking trades that are one to one where basically your risk is the same as your reward you're gonna need at least a 50 percent hit rate and even this is a little misleading because remember when you're trading there's commission costs as well on your trades so in reality you're actually gonna even be losing a little bit of money why is this well because imagine let's say you take 10 trades and you're risking on each trade a hundred dollars to win a hundred if you win five trades and you lose five trades obviously you're winning fifty dollars and then you're losing fifty dollars so you are pretty much break even plus what i said you have to deduct commissions and fees so you'll probably be a little negative so as you can see the more you extend your reward versus your risk the higher the risk reward starts going then you can have a less and um you can have um less uh win percentage but you're still going to be profitable how is that well imagine here for example let's say you take a trade let's say you're taking trades where you're risking $100 and you're winning $500 well if you win if you lose three trades that will be minus $300 but just if you just win one uh, two of those trades or let's say you're taking a three to one and you're taking five trades and you lose three and you win two you would lose three hundred dollars and you win six hundred dollars so even though your win percentage in this case was only 40 percent in the end you're coming out winning you end up winning three hundred dollars because you have a high enough risk reward ratio that you can have a less than 50 percent win rate but your rewards are going to be complementing your losses so that's why it's so important to have as good as a risk reward ratio as possible when you are trading and if you have even if you have risk reward ratios that are very low like let's say even if you're doing trades that are one-to-one -one, like quick scalps but it is a very effective system where you get over 50 percent of your winners you're still going to be a good trader and over here is worth noting you see this notes here that says low pressure high pressure well this is because if you use trades with a lower risk reward usually your trades are going to um, go on uh, quicker and you're getting a higher win percentage because like I said this would be with a very good efficient trading strategy if you're using high risk rewards there is more pressure because there's the element of time so 
the longer you need to have trades open or the longer you need to let a trade go if you're using a very high risk reward then you know there's more possibilities of things that could go wrong in your trade so it just depends what kind of trader you are what style of trader you are doing so let's just look at some chart examples and see how we can use the risk reward tool to just help us uh, determine you know if a trade is worth it or if we should just pass and wait for a better opportunity so let's look at this example this is just forex new zealand us dollar daily chart so as you can see we had this big support level and we had this big break here we break market structure down here however price starts coming back and then you can see how we start making like a bullish flagging formation so you're watching this trend line here that you're forming and you're looking for a breakout so let's say you manage to catch the breakout right here let's say you get on right around this point in the breakout so you go you grab your long position tool for your risk reward you put it here so now before you even enter a trade there's three elements obviously that you need to define the first one which is usually what people actually think of the last but you need to have an idea where price is gonna go like when I see this obviously my eye is drawn here we have this gray supply area and this big gap here that has not been filled back up a common gap so immediately I know that on any move up this is going to be the first trouble area here this purple line because you can see this was strong support so this is one area that I would see we might have trouble or a rejection and then right here would be the second one okay so you always need to define what your trouble areas are going to be and your ultimate targets or you can look to scale out here and close the position completely there etc second thing you obviously need to look for a good entry ideally you're not going to be chasing the market and then you need to define your stop where is your idea wrong where is your idea invalidated and that's where you would put your stop loss please please always use stop losses you have no idea how many people friends i have that are constantly just blowing up accounts because they decide to take off the stop or they just don't put it on and then obviously it just ends badly so here the most evident and obvious place to put the stop will be right here right underneath the last consolidation that led into the breakout over here so we would just move this over here and now if let's say we're targeting this so you can see this is a pretty low risk reward ratio trade it's only a 1.05 and if we take into account that we have this level here that it might give us some trouble if we go down here you can see this is only a 0.56 risk reward ratio trade into this level okay so this is an example of a trade that for me it would probably you know not be worth it or at least if I was gonna take it maybe I would go into a lower time frame here and try to see if there's any price structure on the hourly chart that I can tighten up my stop right below this breakout just to get a better ratio like if we raise this over here you can see how now we would increase our risk reward ratio a lot okay so that is just one example of this 
now a lot of some people I've seen on the internet you know they show all this they show this trades with ridiculous risk reward ratios of like 1 to 30 like 30 times reward to risk those are just like you know those are people that are literally just trying time after time and whenever they just manage to hit one home run they just brag about it but trust me those are incredibly incredibly rare so don't be fooled by people that are just bragging about like ridiculous risk reward ratios because usually that's people that just like go down into a one minute time frame and just put a tiny stop just trying to catch the perfect moment and then they just go and you know post it all over instagram just to like chase cloud and try to make themselves look like great traders but in the long term usually the standard in the industry that they recommend is to look for around three to one risk reward ratios okay so in this case let's look at this case um an example what i was showing you about chasing markets so we can see right here we have this swing here price broke down we left a gap we have a clear supply area over here in gray so immediately if i'm like anywhere like down here and i look into the upside well i would see first this is definitely a trouble area because you can see it was a previous swing support and now it's been giving me resistance and beyond that this is my most obvious target right here filling into this and again this is a daily chart so you know this would be like swing trades that you can hold on for several days or weeks so i see market comes here tests twice we drop off and now we start grinding up price is slowly making higher highs higher lows so we're making some nice bullish structure we come again and reject but now you can see this gray box this is now the last area of demand that we have here price comes down we come into it and then we start bouncing you know we have another higher low so this is where definitely i would see okay as long as we don't break below this previous swing low this could still have bullish momentum targeting this over here and now in this case even though we have this level just looking at the number of times it has been tested and that we're making higher lows i'm confident that this level will break and we will go into the more obvious target up here so then that's where you can you know you can take your fibonacci or your risk reward tool so let's say if you manage to get in here on a retest of this demand block and then okay your stop loss where would it go let's say we put it right below this box there you can see you know you can project before you even getting to a trade or put the order you can sort of make a projection and you can see how coming right into this box it's a three to one ratio you will be risking uh making a potential profit three times the risk that you are taking okay that would definitely be a very nice trade to take so let's say we will put our our tool here our reward would be there and our risk would be there you can see is just over 3r is 3.07 and that is because like i said we managed to catch a nice retracement now what happens with people that just come and see this trades and then they just chase the market instead of waiting for a pullback what happens if we just come here and we just like market buy right here well the problem with market buying a lot of the times is 
you need to define where you're gonna put your risk like if you have a market let's say that is trending like this you know the most logical place is always to put your stop below previous swing lows but if you're getting over like right here and you know you don't know that this market is gonna go or let's say you just get on here you know you don't know maybe there's a level right here that you're targeting but look at where your stop has to go it has to go beyond the previous level so in this case if we would have just chased this our stop loss should go here this is the most logical place where the stop loss would go beyond the previous higher low that we've been making but now look at your risk reward 0.77 so that's really low so this is the things where you know a lot of people would just chase the market not even put a stop loss or just put a very wide stop loss and that risk reward margin is not going to be favorable at all to them okay let's look at another example let's go into the s p 500 uh, a daily chart again and just look at various examples in terms of risk reward ratios again and how we can use it to determine okay if this are this trades worth it should i make is it worth the uh, the risk and the reward etc so in this case let's say we have this market we break down here we leave this big supply we broke structure down here so you know at this moment we can see price came here but once i see this i would expect market is probably going to do a lower high when if we pull back into here because you can see we had support and now resistance so this is a first trouble area but let's say we get a breakout here so once we have a breakout here we're like okay well this previous resistance can now act as support we would put our stop just beyond the last move down or the last consolidation before the breakout that shifted structure and in this case our target would be here so again you can see this is a pretty low risk reward ratio trade 171 i mean it's not that bad it's okay and if you have a good win percentage then definitely those could be good uh trades to take over here if we go into this gold chart you can see a nice example that i have here this is an hourly chart so over here you can see how this market we were down here had strong support we broke down quick retest broke down now we're coming back and we are breaking above the swing high so we're shifting structure back up we pull back into this previous swing levels come and fill this gap into here and now this level which you can see was strong support then resistance now we regain it again as support so in this case if we probably we would have gone in long let's say on this breakout here this is a very nice risk reward ratio on this trade where let's say we get long here because now we have a very clear zone to define our stop and again i would also use tools like volume profile in this case to help me determine where all these things go but for this video i just want to keep it very simple just using price action concepts so over here you can see 
our first trouble area is going to be this little consolidation which was resistance before so maybe we can just scale off a bit here but my eye is definitely drawn into these levels here this untested swing lows here on these lines so ultimately that would be a great target to have and you can see in this case for example that will lead into a 3.12 risk to reward ratio trade okay so for every ten dollars we risk we have the potential to make 31.2 dollars well minus commissions and fees okay but hopefully you see the logistics of what i was saying about how it is so dangerous when you're trying to chase markets in terms of a risk reward ratio concept because like i said if we have this if we have a clearly defined entry on a pullback we can have a nice zone of where to put our stop just beyond here and then for targets you know if we're in a very in a trending environment in this case making higher highs higher lows we expect this to be a higher low so we can look for higher targets you know with some guideline of a level over here if in turn we just come here and we just mark it by right here we're very close already to a previous resistance and then where do we put our stop like our stop would have to go beyond the previous swing level that's defining this structure up and you can see how now we have a very bad risk reward ratio on this okay so again this is just a very uh, basic concept i just wanted to go over uh, this um, this with you all i hope you have enjoyed the video if you have any questions or comments uh, leave them down below i'm going to um, also put the link to my original video regarding risk reward just as a compliment to this if you want more concept on this and i will see you all in the next video take care